Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to some Monster Train. I think I'm just gonna kind of play this randomly. I've been wanting to play more roguelikes that I've enjoyed in the past, but my series-based structure always kind of limits me on that. Uh, mainly just because it's like, you do 20 episodes on a game, you get burnt out on it, you don't want to go back for a while. And that's a bit of a shame, because I actually really like some of these games, I don't want to play more of them. Now, I, we're gonna make a mistake here, and I think we're gonna start with the Stygian Guard, and... Yeah, I think we're going to do the Stingian Guard. I've really never ma mastered Soul Guard the Martyr, and I feel like i got to try him at some point, just just because. M may eh, this is going to be a bad idea. <laughs> okay, kind of disinterested in those, but we'll see what we get. Thanks to apply spell weakness when an enemy enters your train. I'll take it. Tethys' scales is nice. Uh, when a card is discarded before the end of your turn, gain one energy. Could be useful. Hell's Banners just gain a bunch of extra energy or Firebox. Let me take a look. I'm not really summoning a lot of dudes. I guess I'm going to grab the Kinstone Totem just in case. That does something useful. Alright. So, Phased. Cannot attack, cannot be damaged in any way. Incant, gain a shard. If Soul Guard has four stacks of shard, remove... Based. Oh, I see. So we're just getting rid of... Um, we're just getting rid of his phased, and then he's just a bruiser. Otherwise... Dire Channel. Three damage per shard to the front enemy unit. And then if I can give him multi-attack... Or no, just triggers at the start of the unit's turn. Interesting. I guess I'm going to go with this one. This one's... This one's useful, but I think this one might be better. Let's see. Oh, do I have the thing that gives me a five card with discard? Do I want to go with Spice 3? Well, my main dude can't attack, so yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, I do have Forgone Power. Yeah, I've got a lot of drawn discard discard so this actually works out really well okay and then I'm just gonna put him there um, let's card a card at random okay draw one discard one Discard that. Pop Forgone Power. And unfortunately, yeah, I don't have any anything used that energy on. We might have to rethink this. Okay. Kill that guy. I was really hoping I he wouldn't die, but eh. Unfortunately, not the best. Let's see, extract. I guess we'll just do Echo Break. Orgon Power. And then we're just going to pop that guy there. Can't do anything else. He's dead anyway. Should be fine. Pop another one of these guys. Unfortunately, that just hits the front dude. I guess I'm just going to pop that there for the time being. Because what we're going to want to do... Offering token, burn the weight of contrition. Hit him with that. Uh, let's see. Hit him with the proclamation. Echo break, and then foregone power. Offering token, burn this. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole lot of damage here. Yeah. All right, so this is... We take a little bit of damage. I'm remembering why I don't play this specific hero that often. All right, let's go Helical Crystallis. And, hmm... Okay, so this is... 
This is a question. So broken memories can be really helpful. But also bogfly. If I can get two bogflies, then that everything gets really good. Uh, Merchant of Magic, Merchant of Steel. Merchant of Magic would let me modify a spell, which could actually be really helpful. Merchant of Steel would get me a Stygian character. Oof. I'm gonna go Stygian Banner. Because I think we want the Siren of the Sea. Oh. Hmm. Now here's a question. Toggle unit essences. So extra health and damage per crystal. So that's an easy 2020 just off the bat. Do we put that on the siren? I could. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay. Give something spell chain. That's a question. It takes a slot. It'd be interesting to put it on the uh, crystalline seeds. Or one of the offering tokens. Or in proclamation. Because I'm thinking, putting it on the offering token would let me really clear my deck out. Or my deck out my hand out in an interesting way. But I don't know if that would actually be that good. Helical cool Crystalis would get really expensive. Probably isn't worth it unless I made it really, really cheap. Uh, this would let me apply a ton of Frostbite to a lot of units. I think I'm just going to wait. And give something Purge. I'm not really interested in those. Okay, Upgrade a unit with Encant Gain Armor? Heck yeah. And then... Oh. Do we give them Multi-Strike or more armor? Yeah, thank you, Verisog, for the 500 bits. Chat is quiet. Yeah, I've noticed that. It happens whenever I start early or whenever I take a day off. It always seems like it takes a little bit longer for people to... show up, I guess. I, I'd love to give him the multi-strike, but I think I'm just going to give him the multi-encant. Especially if we can get something that boosts my encant abilities. Uh, let's see. Let's just give this a shot. Maybe I should have gone the other direction, but is what it is. Enemy units enter with armor 10. I'm not seeing any little guys, so you know what? Let's give it a shot for once. And multi for Dimbeek numbers. I was considering it. Okay, so he dead. This works out. Because, yeah, we just want to be encanting left and right. We don't really care about shard quantity-ish. We do. Okay, let's burn the proclamation. Um... Pop the offering token. Burn the crystallized shards. I'm just gonna get rid of Tank Man. Okay. Because we can do these two. Pop this. Burn the steward. Burn the steward. Thank you. Echo break. Oh, they had spell shield. I quite make it. Alright. Pop crystalline seeds. Looks like we're fine. Burn proclamation. Echo break. Offering token. Burn the steward. Don't care. And we'll just do that. And maybe the 
the bog fly was not the best on that dude, but yeah, it's okay. All right, ice tornado is really good. Kind of expensive. And we're not really doing spell weakness on this one. We want a bunch of cheap, quick moves that I can just chuck out. Maybe a couple AoEs. So, armor 2 per crystal to friendly units. That's a good way of tanking up. I think I'm going to go for Echo Transfer, seeing as it's got the crystals. So, infused incant, reduce HP, draw 1. Sure. Okay, do we go unit mod? Do we heal and dupe something? What would I dupe? I mean, the interesting thing is I could potentially have two Sirens of the Sea. Uh, Frontlining for me, but I'm not sure how viable that is. Otherwise, we go here, get another unit to mod. No, let's not do that. Let's just go this way. I'm going to leave that for last. Okay, Rail Spike or the Rail Driver? I like neither of these. I want her... I want her, uh... Her hammer. Oh. Hello. Alright. So now, let's dupe this. It'll cost a bit, but that's a really good spell. Alright, so what this should do is let me punch enemies. Horribly. Okay, Martyr, Bogfly. Get them there. Then we're just gonna load up on our stewards. Okay, here we go. Pop them there. Give them Frostbite because I might as well. Uh, let's see, Echo Transfer. Let me see. Hit him with that. Pop the Offering Token. Burn the Steward. Echo Break. Proclamation. Crystalline Shards. El Elko Chrysalis. We've just murdered that thing. I need to get it some HP. Oh man, if I could give it the Encants gain HP. I don't think I'd be able to give it enough, unfortunately. Anyway, so... Not exactly the best combo, but uh, we've done a bunch of heinous business to the dude. Might as well just hit him with that. Why not? Ow. Oh, do these guys... These guys have a sweep. That is not cool. And I'm gonna... Guess I'm gonna put the train steward up here. All they'll be able to do a decent chunk of damage all the same. Hey, thank you Omega Zero for the 46 month resub. Wow, creeping up on four years. And thank you for all the support all those years. Alright, grab that. Pop the offering token. Burn the steward, we don't need it. Pop the other offering token. Burn that. Echo transfer. A little bit of frostbite. Unfortunately, this group does not have good AoE, which is a bit of a downer. Not a big one, bit of one. And then keep popping that. There we go. It's a build. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. I love it when I can just insta-give a boss. Ooh, Eternal Kinstone's pretty good. But Harness the Titan is a thousand times better. Symphony of the Soul would be interesting. Infuse, sweep, strike. Apply spell weakness to the attack target. I mean, there's our AoE if we want it. I'd love to combine 
the seal of fight and called salia together Okay, and I'm going to go for one extra space, because I don't need the energy as much. Who needs AoE when you have googly eyes? I mean, this is valid. Right, let's go here. Because we want to get rid of the stewards. Okay, Wormkin Banner. Inspire. Ooh. 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 Okay. Ooh. I... We're gonna sacrifice this guy, I think. Onto her. The strike apply spell weakness should be fine. Okay, give purge, give extra magic power. Could be really interesting. I don't know about that one. Love putting bog chrysalis onto a bog chrysalis flies for days, especially if you if you make it endless. All right, I'm gonna give harness the titan holdover and make it cheap, so we can just use it constantly. Now that's just plus ten damage overall. That makes it do oh. Hold up. Back to this. 200 damage. And do I want to give anything plus 10 damage? I'm like, maybe. Maybe one of the echo breaks. In permafrost. Kind of useful. Don't know if I care. Extra magic power and consume, or just reduce the cost of something. I'll go with that. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well purge another one of those stewards. Okay. And Dark Forge. Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's see. So, deal five damage per shard to the unit, or revenge apply frostbite per shard to enemy units. That'd be interesting. He would have actually... I would have really liked that, but too late. We're going Dire Channel. Frankly, Dire Channel is not exactly that primo. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. And we're going to have to put these guys on the bottom. Because I want to kill that dude. Oh. And I don't dare cast that spell. Oh. Let's do Harness the Titan. Which makes that do enough damage to kill. Go back down. Let's do an Offering Token. Burn this Proclamation. Okay. Okay. Kill that dude. Get the seal of fight. Perfect. Front dude, we just delete. Then we toss the train steward up the floor, and then foregone power. Perfect. Now, if only I could give my characters fast. Would make me very happy. Echo break. Draw and discard, but we get plenty of armor. Alright, we're good. The sound effects are a little punchy on this. I'm going to turn them down. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, being able to harness the Titan this often. Uh, yeah, that, that slaps. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boy, if only I could actually... Oh, hello. Give her some extra, I guess. And then there's no front enemy. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to want card draw more than anything else. 
Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't do that much damage. But that's okay, because we're getting decent stats. Triggers when you gain... Oh, that just buffs her. It's not actually buffing the whole group. Oh, maybe I should have done that in reverse. Oh, well. Enemy uni units enter with Frostbite 2. I will take it. Apply Sap. Infused Offering. I mean, this is a really this is a really good run for offering cards, frankly. Infused, extract one, deal five damage. Uh, five damage twice, slay, gain two crystal, or broken memories. I don't know if we have a whole lot of consumes. Not really. I'm gonna grab it anyway. That seems like a really good candidate for just boosting the damage on. <sighs> Speaking of, do we modify a unit? Yes, we want to go here. Alright. So, I could make the offering monument huge. The only problem is that means I can't get the icy seal of fight down. Because there won't be enough space for her. Which is a bit of a downer. So I think I will not do that. I'll give her a quick, though. And let's save up for the multi-strike, because her stats do go up. Alright, let's pop this open, see if I get anything good. Grant two stacks of frostbite every time it's applied, and it does not decay. Or start a battle, top floor gains crystal. Let's go, Cuddlebeard. It does the mutator for super stewards improve the benefits of sacking them at altars. I will have to mess with that at some point. Okay. Damage. Heal. We don't have a heal, but I don't know if we need it. Or a buff. Go for the buff. Um... I'm going to leave this one be. Increases space or increases card draw? Oh. I think we need card draw more than space. Space is tempting, but not that helpful. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, and let's get rid of the last of the stewards. And I'm going to get rid of one of the Echo Breaks. They're not bad, I just don't need them that badly. Okay. Enemy units enter with Spell Shield 1, gain money. Unfortunately, don't, don't do a whole lot of damage, so that one's actually not so bad. I realize this may seem a bit weird, but my big spell has piercing, so it's really not that big of a deal. Kind of. Hmm. Okay, so they do more damage than I thought they would. So let's go up a floor. I was not doing my quick maths well enough. Okay, Soul Guard. This, them. And tragically, I'm just going to have to do that. Okay. Get to hit him with crystalline seeds. Do proclamation. We don't have enough crystals, and we don't have enough space. Okay. I can't do. Aha! There we go. 
Okay, so we don't take too much damage. Maybe I should have gone for the heal in retrospect. Oh well. Hit him with the Echo Break. Okay. Pop that. Drop that. Pop that. Drop that. And then he'll kill Chrysalis and we kill him. Perfect. Get up here. Harness the Titan. Uh, let's see. Go for the boosted damage. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, gonna have to just pop Proclamation. Orgon Power saps both of them. We don't take too much damage. That sap actually worked really well in my favor. Give her the damage. Okay. Harness the Titan. Offering token. Perfect. So I can get rid of this one. And we can just hit him with Helical Chrysalis, which just kills him. Yeah, putting him up there actually was not so bad. Offering token. Get rid of one of these. Hit him with the Helical Chrysalis. And we'll just hit him with whatever. Just give me the stats. There we go. Odd duck build, for sure. Okay, harness the Titan for big buffs. Of crystals. Got it. Okay. I'll make him take a bunch. Looks like we're killing him. But in the off chance that we don't. Discard that. Pop that. Keep discarding. Old magic. Eloquent Chrysalis. Yeah, we're good. It's a weird build. I like it, though. That's kind of spam... I mean, it fits my whole spam build. Infused end of turn, apply frozen to a random card in your hand. Sure, I'll put them up top. Uh, let's see. Total recall. Return three random cards from... Oof. No. I think I'm going to skip all of those. Okay. Uh, free artifact and a dupe? But well, what would I dupe? Nothing really. Let's go here. What do we got on the trinket? See if I get something amazing. Wow. These are very singular. Now I could get these two. Well, we don't have enough money. It'd be interesting to get both. But it wouldn't really pay for itself. Hmm. At the end of turn, apply Frozen to a random card in your hand, or apply Spell Weakness 2 to enemy units when they enter the floor below the Pyre Room. We already are applying a little bit of Spell Weakness. This would apply more and would let me... Womp them harder. Yeah. Because this just really isn't that helpful. It's good, but it's not like, end all be all good. Alternatively, we get both. Advanced prototype would have been nice, but I got rid of all of my stewards. I'm going to get rid of the weaker proclamation. I don't really want to be using it. There we go. Thank you, Cryoris, for gifting a sub to Anonis. I see you there, Anonis. Well, now I see you there. <laughs> yeah. But also, Anonis, go to bed. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is a little messy. Oh. This is real frustrating, in fact. If I put him down, he doesn't die. Yeah, usually they give you one of your tanks. But not in this scenario. Uh, 
Okay. Pop that. Just burn the monument. Not going to help too much. Definitely not my favorite turn of events here. To be honest. Okay. Pop Helical Chrysalis. Hits both of them. Just kill that guy. And I guess we're just going to take the damage. There we go. Maybe I should have set up one, one floor higher. It's okay. Weight of Contrition. Kill that. Hit him with Crystalline Seeds. Forgone Power. Alright. We're good. Kind of. Burn that. Harness the Titan. Put the Cuddle Hex up here. Because reasons. Give her that damage. Helical Chrysalis for next round. And we can't do anything else, but that's okay. Harness the Titan. That just kills that guy. Oh. Uh, let's see. Offering Token, Guardian's Amulet. I guess we don't we don't actually get to save the cuddle cuddle hacks here. It's fine. I don't actually think I'm using it that much. Burn that. Harness the Titan for free. The offering monument there for reasons. I could keep drawing, but no energy, it doesn't matter. Hello, boss. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, I should have gone for the one that stacks uh, Frostbite on enemies. Oh, well. Extract six. Huh. Infuse. Apply damage per crystal. Clear crystals. Or transfer all Frostbite on this floor to a unit, then double the amount of Frostbite. I'd really like to go for a Frostbite build at some point, but I think I'm going to go for that one. And I think we just need the energy. Some extra draw would be lovely too, but... I don't know. Alright. These would be nice, but I'm kind of poor, so we're going to go this way. Multi-strike. There we go. Must protect Cuddle Hex. Oh, no, there was a large stone. Must protect Cuddle Hex. Okay, and let's check this. Nexus Spike, consume. Use Nexus Spike with the essence of two spells. Huh. Or something is not right. Purge a spell. Create through. No, no, no. Let's go with this. So, a pillar of light spews strange fragments into the air, making the way ahead dangerous. The bone shaker grinds to a halt on its own, perhaps recognizing the odd power emanating from the pillar. The air is stale, imperceptible even, no longer stinging with the outer chill, but also completely devoid of life entirely. You may urge... You feel the urge to hold your hand to the light, unsure of what may occur. But something in the back of your mind urges caution. Oh, but the light does beckon. And do you listen? Okay, so I can combo... I can wombo combo some things together. However, it gives a consume. And does not affect bosses. Now, what I could do is potentially combine... Echo Transfer and Echoes of the Past into one spell. Uh, which would give... 
15. Uh, it would give 15 plus 6 per crystal. And would clear crystals. I think that's my best. I'd have to make it so it doesn't actually... Uh, so it doesn't actually consume. Sounds risky unless you get a way to get it back from the discard pile. There's a couple ways to do it. In trance, you reach into the unknown power, and the light consumes you. Flashes of Hellborn and humans, and those of heaven flicker past in a strange pocket realm. As if refocusing it, their life force can be felt like molten brands in your head. The looming beyond it all, a booming darkness unlike everything, anything you've ever felt. A void of life and death and goodness, the divinity. When you pull your hand out, a remnant of all-powerful divini all divinity comes with you. You know now that you're not alone. Hey, thank you, Ethereum, for the 13-month resub. Okay, let's go to this. Spell chain or purge. Question. Unit essences. Oh, does... Oh, draw a plus one every turn. Be good. A little expensive. I really don't like Dire Channel. It's not great. Okay, non bust enemy units gain extra damage. How much do I hate myself doing it? We need the money. Okay, we're gonna set up one layer up. Okay, so the Frostbite ain't gonna kill him. Oh, I should have done that first. Um, I'm gonna pop that up there. Okay. So he does end up doing a bunch of damage to me, which is something I'm going to have to probably reckon with. Holy shit, this guy... I think we're actually just going to lose this one. We might pull this off. It's got kind of rough. Oh. That sucks. Losing my tank that in that scenario is kind of worst case worst case situation. Pop echo break. Guess I could have waited on that one. But that's okay. Um Burn for gun power. Draw some more. Burn for, for gun power. So you pop that up there. Do I pop that? Nah. Yeah, the big problem is this dude. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat him, even with my bonus damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna try rebooting this battle. We'll just see what happens. I mean, worst comes to worst, I lose.
I think against better my better judgment, I'm just gonna work on buffing mid boy. Uh, let's see. Pop the offering monument. Harness the Titan immediately. We're just gonna ignore him. It's not worth it. Let's see. Helical Chrysalis? No. Could go with that. Okay, we get the Cuddle Hex, which actually works kind of well. Unfortunately, we're going to not get the Icy Seal of Fight in this exact scenario. But I should be able to get it back. Oh, was frozen. How convenient. Okay, Offering Token. Burn Foregone Power. Offering Token. Burn... Probably Echo Break. Okay, it's now dead. Now we get the Icy Seal of Fight, which is great. Let's see, I've got Forgon Power, but I don't want to do that. Go with that. Um... I think I'm going to have to lead with Proclamation. And then we're going to just super boost her. I would have liked to super boost harder, but we didn't get the opportunity to do so. And maybe that's okay. Alright. 15 twice. Kill that guy. Give her some more damage. Keep giving her damage. Okay, we take 26. I thought so. I thought she's supposed to have sweep. Why are these guys even doing damage to me? Because she's got sweep and quick. I guess I'm doing my math wrong on how some of these characters function, unfortunately. All right, offering token, burn guardian's amulet. Okay, delete that guy. Delete that guy. Boost her again. There we go. Alright, we didn't lose. That's usually a good sign. Oh, other friendly units gain multi-strike. Yeah, we're just going to delete that. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we, uh... I had my concerns, but I guess I was wrong to be concerned. I'm just going to burn the Helical Chrysalis. No sense in pissing him off further. There we go. That worked out. The biggest issue is lack of armor. If I could figure out how to get him even more armor, I'd be a happy camper. Uh, do we want to get it? No, no, no. Let's grab the unnamed t tome. Use 15 damage for each spell in a consumed pile. That could be really interesting, but not this run. Alright, so we didn't lose. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Let's see what the mer Merchant of Magic has for me. Extra pa magic power and consume. Nah, reduce the cost is something. Might as well do that with the old magic. Yeah, remove consume. Increase price. There we go. The extra magic power and consume. Not really that helpful for me, but now my super, bo uh, super boost spell is not too bad. Now I could go for a second. Mm hmm. Oh, these are interesting. So we could get another old magic, which is just kind of a nice damage bonus. We could make a second Cuddle Hex. Here, let's take a, a look at this real quick. 
Could make that do uh, 350 damage, which is tempting. We just could... Yeah, screw it. Here, let's just go all in. This is going to get dicey, but it's fine. Now, we want to sacrifice the Offering Monument into the Cuddle Hex. Now, the Cuddle Hex gets armor. And we can dupe it. I think I've never gotten my difficulty this high before. Which is worrying me a little bit. Tempting to get rid of the foregone powers. I don't think I want to get rid of anything. I'm actually pretty happy with what I've got. Uh, let's see. When a spell is consumed, gain one. No, none of these are good. Ooh. These are really good, and I can buy both. Yes. Okay, so now we get even more power. Uh, let's see. Nothing to purge. On we go. Well. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, so he's got rallying and can't. So I gotta be a little bit worried about when and where he shows up. But that's okay. Now he's got the encant bonus. I think I'm just going to do that for the bonus stats. Uh, let's start with unnamed tome. And then nexus spike. Okay. So we don't die, but boy, front boy is going to have a day. Didn't work. And yeah, maybe I should have gone for that healing spell. Oh, well. I say what's the worst that's gonna... What's the worst that could happen here? The answer is quite a lot, really. Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna put that cuddle hex up there. I might actually have to... Uh, oh, there's melee weakness. Alright. Secondary Cuddle Hex tank. It doesn't need to make sense. It just needs to make do. At least the Cuddle Hex get, gets a kill and does some damage, question mark. Oh, I see. It's just because he's frosted. It just has to eat some hits. It doesn't have to live. Okay, we burn the Guardian's amulet. Sap them down. And uh, nothing. All right. Believe you me, I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. Offering token, let's burn that. We get another one of those, which is kind of huge. Because that lets me give him... Give him boost damage. Okay. Okay. He's on his own. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have no crystals, do I? Harness the Titan. Offering token. Guardian's am amulet. And then proclamation. 4,000 damage. It pretty good.
now it's time to fight this sucker. He's gonna be hard. Okay. So 12 and trample, 18, or just 11 and sweep. So we've got to be on the bottom. Here's the problem. It didn't give me what I need. Shoot. Yeah, the problem is it's not giving me my tank. Normally this game is pretty good about it, but... Uh, unfortunately, my tank is a scaling tank as opposed to, like, an actually useful tank. Uh, which puts me in this awkward position of, I guess I'm gonna have to go here. I guess it's fine. Nope, still ain't working. Oh, you know what? I should probably put my my champ in the front. I think that's it. I was really hoping to gain gain some more st stats or something. Unfortunately, starting with five cards is, I think, what's doing me in here more than anything else. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to just... Kill one of those guys. There he is. Put him there. Silence them. Okay, old magic them. And reduce their damage. Okay, he's gonna take 12. This is good. I can work with 12. Especially because he came pre-built with spell weakness. Offering token. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Cuddle Hex. Unfortunately, Cuddle Hexes are not the most useful here. But that's okay. Harness the Titan. Let's take a look at this. I'm not going to be able to do enough damage here. To kill all of them. And yeah, I can't get a proclamation down. I'll just see what I can do. Uh, let's see. I have an Echoes of the Past, which just gives him, which is good. Uh, I'm just going to get the start getting the Cuddle Hexes down. Burn the Weight of Contrition. Pop that. Boost damage. Oh, is he still... Oh. Damn it. Yeah, unfortunately... That extra armor did not save me here. Ah, uh, we lose. I almost never lose against the divinity, but in this case, I did not have a good enough tank to pull it off. I needed. I think if I had had that uh, that damage buff, if that if that had done healing, it would have done the trick. Become mighty, Cuddle Hex. Have another Cuddle Hex. It's okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let it happen. Like, I could try and cast spells, but there's, there's nothing. I got nothing. That's a good shot. But we needed more of a... more... more tank. 
is okay. 